Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to open an on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. Alright, now there's six different ways that you can do this. The first way is by using Command Prompt. So you're going to go to the Start menu and type in Command Prompt. Now select Run as Administrator. If you don't see Run as Administrator, right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. All right, now you're going to type OSK and press enter. Now the second way you can open an on-screen keyboard is by using PowerShell. So you're going to go to the start menu and type in PowerShell. Select run as administrator. If you don't see Run as Administrator, right-click on PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click Yes. Alright, now you're going to type OSK and press Enter. Alright, now the third way you can open an on-screen keyboard is by using Run. So you're going to go to Start and type in Run and select Open. Now type OSK and press Enter. Alright, now the fourth way you can open Run is by going into your PC settings. So you're going to go to the Start menu, go to Settings. Now go to Ease of Access. It says narrator, magnifier, and high contrast. Now scroll down and select keyboard. And then you're going to turn on use the on-screen keyboard. To turn it on, you're going to flip the switch to the right. All right, now the fifth way you can open an on-screen keyboard is through the ease of access center. So you're going to press Windows key and U now scroll down, go to Keyboard, and then turn on Use the On-Screen Keyboard. So you're going to flip the switch to the right. Alright, now the sixth way you can open an on-screen keyboard is by using Search. So you're going to go to the search bar and type in On-Screen Keyboard. And then go to Open. Alright, so that's six different ways that you can open an on-screen keyboard in Windows 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.